Why do these workers? To push such a large piece of metal? Are they going to plug the pipes here? Actually, no, this big iron lump is not a plug at all. He is used to weld extra large PE pipes. The core equipment is called docking furniture. Work with the welding machine. So here's the problem. Isn't the P1 pipe a pipe? Why does he still push such heavy metal? The key lies in the material. The P tube is made of high density polyethylene. It's not steel. If you don't eat arc welding, you can't use a welding rod to weld. The way it really connects is called hot melt docking. It depends on ironing the end soft, squeeze together and grow into a stick. The operation steps are actually very similar to a hot press box. First put two huge P. The tube is firmly sandwiched in this metal furniture. Ensure concentric alignment. It can't be crooked by a millimeter, because the bigger the tube, the heavier it gets. If it is slightly misaligned and buried under force, there will be problems. Then, insert the heating plate between the ends of the two pipes. Simultaneous heating. The temperature is around 430 degrees. At this temperature, polyethylene doesn't completely melt into a liquid like wax. Instead, it goes into a semi-melted and sticky state. The surface is soft, and inside it retains its shape. This is the most suitable for butt forming. Wait until both ends are heated in place. The machine will quickly pull the heating plate apart. The next second immediately pushes the two pipes together. Apply axial pressure. Be aware that this step must be fast. If it is slow, the surface temperature will not be able to be peeled off if it falls. Pressure squeezes and fuses the softening layers at both ends. It will squeeze out a circle of flanging outside. And this is not just extra ugly stuff. It's a sign that it's welded in place. And keep the pressure there. Wait for it to cool down. After cooling is complete, the two canals become a hole. The strength can even approach the original pipe body. It's safe to be buried in the ground. 